This is a mountain. This is a human. This is a data. This is a bar. This is a map. And this is what you get when you smush it all together. Each bar represents the density of people there. Taller and darker bars means more people squished into that area. These are population mountains. This is the Eiffel Tower-like population spire that is Paris. This is the broad London suburbs at the heart of the UK. Two mega cities around the formerly British Hong Kong growing up and into each other, with the combined population rivaling the UK itself. You can feel the emptiness of the Sahara. The way Egypt's population snaps around the Nile. Feel the incredible density of India, a field of cities. And you can feel how Tijuana, pressed against the US-Mexican border, mixes into San Diego just as thousands of humans cross between them each day. This is why your brain likes population mountains so much. This is a timeline of human history. This is the part when our brain saw mostly mountains. Happy brain. This is how our brain understands mountains. Big mountains, small mountains, steep mountains, close mountains, far mountains, looming mountains, inviting mountains. This is when we got all the datas. And this is how our brain understands lots of datas. This is how you make data feel more like mountains. This is a human. This is the data. This is lots of datas. This is bars. This is a map. Smush it all together and what do you get? Data mountains. Big data mountains. Small data mountains. Deep data mountains. Sprawling data mountains. Data mountains. Happy brain.